videos. Okay, in this little episode, we're doing something a little bit different. You might have seen pulleys on clutches, but this is gonna be a pulley on the front brake. And I think it's gonna work better on the front brake than it does on the clutch. Yes, there's gonna be thousands of people out there that have got a really crap front brake on the Lambretta, but they just don't wanna go hydraulic. They wanna keep that original look. This could be a way out. So let's go. Okay, here's the front brake setup at the moment. And as you can see, it's basically standard. It's got the normal brake cable routing, the normal brake setup, standard. So we don't want to go for reverse pull on this one. We want to keep it looking original. So we're thinking of fitting a pulley system. And that's more or less where it's going to go. I don't know whether I'm going to use the original one with this fitted to it or fit a completely different adjuster. Right, so I'm going to have to replace the brake cable because that's now too short. I'm going to have to make a cable holder that fits onto the back of here somewhere so we can clamp the cable to because the cable is going to come along here, round the pulley and then clamped under here below. So here's how I've decided to do it. This is my pulley, it's all stainless steel, marine stainless steel, so it's never going to corrode. Very high quality. So what I've decided to do is slot the backer here, so my bolt can go in. I'll slot down, but we'll go in and slot in behind. And then hopefully, I can then put some stainless steel weld on the back. That will be the back of it, you won't see it. All the front, the only thing you'll see at the front is the actual thread coming through. So we'll have this thread fitted to that unit. Sort of, you'll see it like in, kind of like that. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear now, to see. I don't see. know how easy this stainless is going to be to drill. From up I'm here, expecting it to be quite tough stuff. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Okay, so that's kind of dusted. That's now, that's the side we'll see, obviously, not the bit where it's welded in. But it's fairly neat and it'll do the job. So it's going to go, the cable will go around the pulley and then anchored here underneath. So I think our clamp needs to be on the back of here and in line. We need to keep everything in line as much as possible. Right, I've drilled out the back here and we're going to tap in the six mil thread. Okay, 
it's all pretty well on. The uh, whole retaining plate clamp is on the back. The pulley's all fitted. It's adjustable. Uh, all I need to do now is trim off the cable and put it down a decent length and neaten it up, I suppose. Right, I'm just going to slide on a bullet connector. Crimping down. Slide as a bit of heat shrink over the top. And just heat it up and that'll be it. Uh, that'll be done. Gotta get hot. And that's it. Neat enough. Okay, went out for a test drive and here's the results. Here's what I, my feedback, what I get from it. First of all, it doesn't snatch like a reverse pull. So that's a positive point. It is a bit more, feels a bit more progressive. It breaks well, although we need to put new shoes in this. I've got new shoes on the way. They're probably gonna be here tomorrow. So I can test it with the better, better brake shoes. These are just the old ones. All we've done is the conversion on it. And uh, it's already like about at least 30% better than it was before. So it does break not much nicer than before. Uh, I think that's a big improvement. There's probably going to be a lot of people copying this. So thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.